Tech, technology for you, right? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to day three of um, our first module. Um, we will be covering um, unsportsmanlike files today, and um, this is a big point of emphasis um, in FIBA training. So we ask that you tune in and um, be prepared to give your, your questions um, and, of course, your input as we go along. Um, we're going to pass it over to um, Mr. Ian Yerwood, who would now give us the whole series of the You could hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Yes, um, we pass it on to Ian Yearwood now, who would um, carry us through the host rules for this evening. Good evening, everybody. I'm just going to ask you, please, to mute your mics. All of you who have your mics on, if you're not a presenter, keep your mics mute. Um, your questions. I, I think we are on day three now, and, and I think we should have it down pat that we keep the mics mute. If you your mic is open, it gives loud feedback, and the other participants of the webinar can't hear what is going on. Is coming through with a lot of feedback. So I'm asking you, please, if you're not a presenter, to keep your mics muted. The questions will be coming. You can send your questions to me on the chat. If you feel that your question is getting lost in translation by, by typing it in, I'm going to ask you to use your raise hand, raise your hand feature. With that said, I'm going to turn over to Mr. Roberto Vasquez and Ms. Jennifer Joseph Hackett. R Roberto, you may need to unmute your mic. Now you hear me? Yes. Okay. Well, my name is Roberto Vasquez. I'm an active referee uh, and national FIBA instructor. And it's a big for sharing experience and talk about my life. How is a, it's, it's a small, but it's a big uh, issues inside the, the, the game. So, uh, let's introduce now Jennifer. Jennifer, can you introduce yourself? Hi, good evening. Um, I'm Jennifer, active three from Barbados, and tonight I've been partnered with Roberto to present to the group uh, the on sportsman light fault. Like you said, it's a short and pretty black and white rule. Over to you, Roberto. Okay. I'm going to share the screen. All right. Uh, let's. Now, okay. <laughs> Rule of this team. Now we're gonna have a, our pregame meeting. So, like Ian said, you have to turn your microphone off. Please mute everybody, and because we don't want uh, listen any feedback, it's gonna be worse uh, trying to listen everybody, everyone, or. or if you try to listen, you cannot do it at the same, at the best way. Second, as you wish, your camera can be on or can be off. We prefer on, but as you wish. If you let your camera up, it's up to you. 
Third, we are going to say the name and listen this one. We are going to say the name. We are going to say the name who is going to answer when we are when we ask something during the presentation. So that's why we need the microphone off too. Okay? When we ask something, we're gonna point, we're gonna send, we're gonna say any name, and that person turn your microphone on, answer, and again turn the microphone off. Questions. Questions on any slide are going to be at the end of the presentation. This is our rule for this game. This is our great meeting. Okay, Jennifer, you have something else? No, no, no. That's 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 fine. Everything is good. Let's begin. Okay. Number five, we're gonna send the link, okay? In the link on the chat, Zoom platform, you're gonna find videos that we are going to talk about when we mention that, okay? Click, turn off the automatic, okay? Uh, Jeff Lausanne, please turn off your microphone. I listen to you now, okay, thank you. All right, uh, tonight, CBC. We have referee, on, referee online training program. And we, we're going to talk about my pause. Okay. Your instructor for tonight is going to be Roberto or Joseph Hackett. Now, Jennifer, we talk about we. She's going to talk about the rule. What is the rule set? Right. Okay. So the unsportsman late foul is a player contact foul which in the judgment of the official is not a legitimate attempt to play the ball. Excessively hard contact caused by a player. An unnecessary contact caused by the defensive player in order to stop the progress of an offensive team in transition. Contact by a defensive player from behind or laterally on an opponent in an attempt to stop the fast break. And if there is no defensive player between the offensive player and the opponent's basket. And lastly, in the last two minutes of the fourth quarter or overtime, contact by the defensive player on an, off, on an opponent on the playing court and the ball is out of bounds for throwing and still in the hands of the, of the official at the, at the disposal of the player taking the throwing. Okay, now for Card Cardon Morton, I have a question for Cardon Morton. Yes. Uh, how many how many steps on the rule? How many criteria we have on on this rule? Um, I'm not too sure. Five. Yes, that that is the five points on this on this uh, rule. It's say it, we we call the we call them criteria. Criteria one, two, three, four, and five. That's why we separate on numbers. Okay. Okay, it, this is very important. The official must interpret 
the unsport my life out consistently throughout the game and judge the action. We, we are not going to interpret the, the rule about the, the intention of the player, okay? We don't care about the intention. We, ju we judge. On and in the rule, in the rule to referee, uh, when we are refereeing, we use IOT, our individual officiating, officiating techniques, and we use really important word, common sense. Okay? And we traduce, the, we traduce this in, if a referee call a foul and there is a doubt, normal foul or normal foul, please. Okay? Converse briefly with the other official who had secondary coverage area and or you can review in the IRS if you have the IRS available, okay? Oops, sorry. Okay, if there on a play and the other official makes the formal and you have and you make the personal foul signal upgrade your signal to a formal foul okay don't if you have one official with a formal life foul signal don't don't make the mistake to stay about to stay with the personal foul do the do those you have to make the fish the and this is really important protect the shooter why the shooter normal normal john Norba, are you there? No? Okay, Gary Benjamin. Why we protect the shooter on the play like that? Play like that. Oh, what's going on? Derek Smith. Derek Smith. There? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right, thank you. Why is really important uh, that word, protect the shooter? Derek, Derek Smith. It's important to protect the shooter because the shooter is actually having the ball and he's usually most of the time when a person shoots the ball, he's actually airborne. So I think he deserves a, a little special care because of how he can land and uh, it puts him at a total disadvantage because his concentration is basically on all, usually on shooting. And I think you need to give him that extra protection. It's not an ordinary pay player standing up and chances are he's on the move and usually airborne. So I think you, you should protect him for that particular reason. And it puts him at a disadvantage if he's basically disturbed, if his if he's into if his shooting ability is interfered. Definitely, definite disadvantage. Yes, thank you. Thank you for answering that. 
and it's, it, you are correct. But we have to protect the shooter because watch the image, the picture on the on the on the slide to that shooter on that moment is going to be injured, and the defense. Defender make that movement make below or in the space that the shooter is gonna land and make and may cause an injury who shoot the ball anymore on the game for that reason. Like five. Uh, his microphone. Okay, let's do let's. Okay, now we one procedure. Like foul, we see so the whistle. So that means decision. Make the signal first. Also, uh, that means we fist. Then we process and analyze personal foul or on formal life foul. We upgrade the signal if we consider on Sporma Life Foul. So we fist first and then we make the signal. All of those five points or steps, we have to do it less on less than one second. Just in point of 10 seconds, we have to make the decision with all five all of five steps okay we don't make the sperm light uh, signal at the very beginning we saw the play we don't make any emotional call so we fist first then we upgrade the signal with a sperm light power Uh, Jennifer now is going to talk about excuse me okay the penalty for an unsportsmanlike foul it shall be charged against the person committing the foul the offender free throw shall be awarded to the player who was fouled followed by Followed by a throwing from the throwing line in the team's front court or a jump ball to begin the first quarter. And the number of free throws shall be awarded as follows. If the foul is committed on a player not in the act of shooting, he or she will have two free throws. If the foul is committed on a player in the act of shooting and the goal is made, it shall count. And in addition, you will have one free throw. If the foul is committed on a player in the act of shooting and the goal is not made, that player will have either two or three free throws. Go ahead, Roberto. Go ahead. <laughs> Keep going, Jennifer. Okay. A player shall be disqualified for the remainder of the game when he or she is charged with two unsportsmanlike fouls or two technical fouls 
or with one technical and one on sportsman like foul. If a player is disqualified under the previous article, the unsportsman like foul shall be the only foul to be penalized and no additional penalty for the disqualification shall be administered. All right. The rule and the penalty, I suppose everybody here know the rule and the penalties when we have an for my life um, for my life foul situation okay to facilitate better decision making referees are required to use one of the five existing criteria to determine if an life of on for my life foul should be called so the criteria C1, C2, C3, C4, and C5 that we mentioned uh, on the rule explaining explanation. Now with the rules, now the rule changes, referees can upgrade a normal foul to unsport my life foul or downgrade disqualified foul to unsport. All right. Uh, got his chances. Got it. You there? Yes, I'm here. Uh, can you tell me if you know what is the criteria one? Um, criteria one. Um, no legitimate attempt to play the ball within the spirit and intent of the rules. For, Man. for, for it. Yeah, Joseph for Patrick. Thank you, Gary. <laughs> Joseph Patrick. Here. Can you tell me what are you seeing? What are you seeing on the on the picture? What I'm saying is that the person um, the person with the ball is on motion dribbling and the defender actually wasn't going at the ball but actually back that person without actually attempting to retrieve the ball. All right. Jennifer, can you put the the link on the on the chat so everybody can see the the first video clip? Now we are going. Everybody can go for the for the chat and click on the on the link, and you will see the first video. All right, everybody saw it? I think everybody saw the video. So now I'm going to ask something. To Dylan Mont Montote.
Hello, good night. Uh, you know, like, we ask, uh, oh, I'm gonna ask something. Why we did you know, video freeze, bro? It's, it's, play the this is breaking up, boy. And you. Roberta, you're breaking up. Mm -hmm. You hear me? Hearing you all now. Okay, Dylan. If you see, if you watch the video, why you think that person, that I found, we, we can put it on criteria one and not on criteria three. Dylan, are you there? Oh no, sorry, sorry about that, my maker did it. Sorry about that. Let, let me you hear me now. Okay. Why why you think that clip, that on Sport My Life file, we can put it on criteria one and not at three? Because the, the, the defending player in the blue and white uniform never made a, a legitimate attempt to grab the ball or to get the ball. She pulled on the uniform of the attacking player, and the referee had to call an unsportsmanlike foul. Second okay. control of the ball. Virtue, you're breaking that really badly. Hear me? No? No, I, I didn't hear anything you said just now. So I don't know if any others heard. Let me, let me change. I can hear you now. Roberto, I'll mute your mic. Now. Yes, can hear you. Uh, okay. Uh, Dylan, you are right. But the other point is the offensive player doesn't have yet the control of the ball. Okay. Okay. The defender do not do not attempt to play the ball never never play the ball and the offensive player doesn't have yet the control of the ball the offensive team okay no problem so that's why we don't consider that on sport my life out like a criteria three okay now okay, we no are problem. going for criteria two uh, Branuel Ventur. Yes, hi, good night. Hello? Hello, Branuel. How are you doing, man? Yes, I'm okay. Uh, you, you, can, you can say something about the criteria, too. Well, unfortunately, I'm new to coaching. I don't quite know. I'm not quite familiar with the criteria for the fouls. Uh, I came in late because I had some connectivity issues on my side. Apologize for that. Uh, I don't... Can, you, can you repeat, please? Yeah, he came in late. He, um, he's not sure of the criteria. So if we can get someone else to, to help, help him. Yeah. 
Mr. Abdul Harshad. Yes, sir. Criteria two, excessive hard contact caused by a player in effort to play the ball or an opponent. It doesn't matter if the defender player tries to play the ball or not. Excessive contact or hard contact has to be criteria two. All right. Go on the link. Video two. I'm going to put the link in the chat again for persons please, who please. may have come after I put it in before. All right, I put it in. All right. If you watch, if you saw the video, you want you see that the defender player tried to play the ball in a little bit, but the contact was a sex, excessive contact and hard contact. Okay. Doesn't matter if he's playing the ball or not. Okay. Dennis Osborne. You remember what side? Dennis Osborne. I'm here. Hi, Dennis. Good evening. Good evening to you. Can you tell me what the criteria three says? Well, I'm unable to seek criteria three from where I'm located. Uh, you, you, you watch when Jennifer was, uh, Jennifer was explaining the rule. Yes, I, I, I'd seen the five criterias. I'd seen them. Okay, but I cannot, but you remember I cannot, what? I cannot remember which one was criteria three. All right, okay. Well, I have to find somebody else. Thank you, Dennis. Uh, Harrison Sand. Arison Sands. It's not there. So let's go for Lorenzo Fiber. Yes, good evening. Hey, good evening, Lorenzo. How you doing, man? I'm doing fine, thank you. Good, good. Can you tell me what the criteria three said? Uh, criteria three, an unnecessary contact caused by the defensive player in order to stop the progress of offensive uh, team in transmission. 
Perfect. This criteria applies until the, the offensive player begins his act of shooting. Okay. Thank you, Lorenzo. Okay, now we go for the clip number three on the link. Hi, Roberto, can you hear me? Um, how you doing? Uh, that criteria number two, where um, LeBron got grabbed by the neck. Um, I don't know if I, I did you give more explanation on that by the neck? All right. Uh, okay, let, let's go back to criteria two. Let's go back a little bit. Okay. Okay, criteria two. Excessive or hard contact caused by a player in an effort to play the ball or an, 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 an opponent. Okay, he's grabbing their neck. He's he's making a hug. Uh, at least, at least, it's gonna spoil my life out. I I think I think you are trying to ask about disqualified foul, right? Absolutely, because it, because it's on the neck. So yes, sir. It's, it's, at, it's at, at discretion of the official. How do you see, or how do you watch on the play? How do you see, how is the contact? Because we, we can see it right there, the contact on the neck with the hug. But the official, the, the referee can see, maybe, can, maybe they saw uh, a hug on the position that they were, they analyzed and he, and he said, or he or she said, okay, uh, it's an excessive contact. It's not like uh, to disqualify the player. So let's go for a criteria. Roberto. You are, you are, you have a good uh, point about, yes. Roberto, we're judging the action. We're judging the action alone and not the intent of the action. That's right. That's right. That's so right. So my thing is, so, it, by, by this picture, I'm seeing a grab by the neck. So based now, an official or referee at an angle, but like you said, and I'll, I'll agree with you 100%, and you're absolutely, you're absolutely correct based on the angle of the referee i'm fine with that based on the angle of this picture seeing this man grabbing lebron or it doesn't have to be lebron but any player by the neck by the neck we say we, we say that anything above from the neck the criteria has to be raised now, based on this picture, from our angle, like us, we right now, that's looking at the, the, the picture, we're the referees looking at this angle. That's, this, is, this is the only angle that we have. And to see a grab by the neck, that's my, my point. What, what, what do you think? Well, from my point of view, and uh, you're right, you're right. Uh, contact 
contact on the neck over the neck should be disqualified you are right but i i just seen a hug i'm just seeing a bear hug okay because i i can i can try to hit you and i will hit you on the shoulder with my with my uh with with the fist but with my shoulder i hit you on the back of the of the of your head so at that moment what what is going to be your decision you're going to see you're going to watch my action hit you on the shoulder or you're going to or you're going to watch my action hit you with my shoulder on your neck Put your shoulder on your neck. That's gonna that's gonna be your view. You're gonna you and and you will be a hundred percent correct based on what you see. So you're gonna be a hundred percent correct. Exactly. So about now, this? but you with this about view, this, this, is a, this, this is view, a still this, this is a still view. photo. This is a still photo. So you don't know at which point in time this picture was taken in the event of plays, the beginning, the middle, the end, you don't know, you don't know when the referee would have blown his whistle, but this is just a, an example of hard contact. Don't take this picture as contact around the neck, because you don't know exactly which point the contact started, finished, and ended. So just take this picture as something, showing an example of no. excessive, a hard contact because you don't know if he hit him hard and he was falling down or whatever and the momentum took him over and he was trying to stop him or you don't know the whole picture you're just seeing a still so don't don't take it as so, so Jen, he's falling he's dead, dead, dead. it's so, just an so example Jen, of excessive and hard okay okay we're gonna move on um we're gonna move on it, it's a still and as jennifer said Let's take it. We don't. We can't just use it. We're just using it as an example of of her excessive contact. Thank you. All right. We we said something about criteria three. So now we move to criteria four. Uh. Marilyn Mana. Is there Marilyn? Marilyn? Well, let's go for... Yes. Okay. Money Ram. Money Ram. Yes, I'm listening. I'm listening. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll back a little piece. I'm listening, Robert. Okay, just continue. Okay. Give me the explanation of criteria four. The criteria four about the contact by the defensive player. Money. Okay, I'm just uh, just uh, give me a, give me a second. Just reading. Okay, okay, we have to continue. Contact by the defensive player from behind or laterally opponent. 
on an opponent in an attempt to stop the fast break and there is no defensive player between the offensive player and the opponent's basket. This applies until the defensive player, until the, the offensive player begin his act of shooting. And now we are going to uh, the link, video number four. I will send the link again for people who may have just entered. For clarity, note that all five criteria are on that connect on that link. Yes. The link I said, but the link I sent just now will carry you directly to criteria number four. And it's a UF 18C4. All right. And if you saw in the video, the offensive player was looking the contact, but he was a step in the front of the defensive player. So who is responsible for the contact is the defender. So it doesn't matter if he tried to, to put out his body out of the contact, the contact was created, was, a, was happened the contact, occurred the contact, is a foul, and is it, if it's a foul, it's a criteria before on formal life foul. Because it's not, there is no defender between the offensive player and the basket. And the last criteria, criteria five, on the last two minutes in the fourth quarter or overtime, contact by the defensive player or on an opponent in the playing court when the ball is out of bounds for a throw in and still in the hand of the official or referee or at the disposal of the player taking the throw in. On the, on, on the links, you will see the video number five. Again, I put the link for that will take you there right to criteria five in the chat.
Hallo? Ja, wir waren die Junge. Mein Ulawi, na, wie kennen wir? Ja, gut, ich brauche. Ah ben nous là, oui, on a frappé, on a frappé toujours. Robert, you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, I'm just checking. Yeah, I'm here, I'm here. I'm not dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what we have in this last video, slice before I said, if you have uh, IRS available, use it. Because the job of, that, of those referees was, where was the ball at the moment of the contact, at the moment of the foul. Of the foul. So they went to review, and they appreciate or they saw that the ball was at disposal, at the, the ball still at the, hand, at the hand of the player making the throw in. So that's why that foul was upgraded to a formal life foul. As soon as the ball, if, if the player throw the ball or the, or, or the player pass the ball and the ball is in the air, that foul should be a normal foul, personal foul. That's, that's the difference on that moment. If the ball is still in the hand, it's formal life foul. If the ball is on the air for, uh, for the pass, it's a personal foul. Or your, or your adjustment about criteria three, one, uh, criteria one, two, and no more. Because the other two criteria, three and four, is uh, stop the transition and the last defender. So that is the difference on that, on that case, okay? I'm going to give you some tip. A question. Yes. Yeah. Question coming in. I, I, and it came in because of the review of IRS. What if when using the IRS, you discover that the call should have been an offensive fault? No, you cannot change. You cannot change the, your call. We're going, we're going to watch only what are we are going to watch. That, that, is the, that is the wording. So if you see something different on, on, the, on the IRS, you cannot change it. it, it it's not the uh, NBA, NBA has the challenge rule. So in the, in the challenge rule, uh, you, can, you can change your, your calls. But here in FIBA, you cannot change. If you call a, per, a personal file, and if you watch, it, it was a, a grabbing from the offender, from the offensive player, you cannot change for offensive file. You, you remain for personal file. So, so this is FIBA rule. I'm hearing you to say that you can upgrade your call in terms of a personal fault on a sportsman-like fault, or even a disqualifying fault, but you can't downgrade your original call. No, you can You cannot erase. You cannot erase the personal foul. You okay. cannot say no. It, it was an offensive foul. So uh, I saw. I saw on the on the IRS that it's not a personal foul, so it's not a foul. No, you cannot say that. You call a foul. It's a personal foul. If you call a, uh, you, you can only uh, only downgrade from a formal life file to personal file, but you cannot downgrade the personal file 
to erase the file. You can change. On, on, the only thing that you can change the name of the file is when you have uh, an elbow or, 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 a, or a player try to hit with the elbow and you call on a formalized file. When you watch on the IRS, there is no contact. You can change. You can change from a formal life file to technical file. That's that's the only thing that you can do. It is on, it is on FIBA. Uh, NBA has another rule, different rules. So you can uh, the the coaches now can challenge challenge the rule, challenge the the officials, and they review. And there is. There is a doubt on on the personal file, and the coaches are right on what they are complaining. They can change the the personal file for nothing, but it's only NBA. FIBA remains the the personal file. We have a raise hand here by KV. Go ahead with your question. Uh, in advance of the uh, the change, watching the IRS, is it possible that uh, in advance to that you already called a foul on the defensive player? What if there is uh, a discussion between the three uh, officials that it was an offensive foul or a defensive foul? Can, can you repeat the can you repeat again? You said you called the foul. The officials called the foul, and after the discussion, they got together. They went to the IRS, and after that, you stated that you can't change or degrade the foul. You can only upgrade, and you can't change it from an defensive to an offensive. But that means you that cannot. you already no. That means that you already in first call a defensive foul. But what if one of the officials or two other officials called an offensive foul? If there are, if the official call an offensive foul in that situation, it's an it's a personal foul, offensive foul. You cannot that you cannot upgrade to a formal life foul because the player who is making the foul is a is the offensive player. The rule only the rule said if the defender if the defensive player commit a foul and the ball still on the hands of the thrower or on the official, that foul should be or has to be on formal life foul, on the last two minutes. But only the defender player making a foul. If the other two officials call an offensive foul and one official call a personal foul on the defender, they have to meet him in the, in the center and discuss the play. They cannot go for a, an, an a, they cannot go for an IRS to review what happened and decide about the IRS. No, they have to make the decision in the court before before go to the to the IRS. You understand? Yes, proceed. All right. Tips, don't make emotional calls. Be consistent, be consistent on your call. If you call on a formal life foul on the first minute of the game and the same contact was occurred on the last minute of the game, it's the same contact. It's on a formal life foul. Use your IOT, your I, your individual officiality techniques, and common sense. And again, judge the action 
not the intention. This is really important. What happened is the action. What not happened or what, what do you think is gonna happen is the intention. So, from my point of view, my, my part and Jennifer, thank you to all, to all of you. Now, any, any, if anybody has a, a question. Jennifer, you want some, do, you have, do you want to add something? Okay. I, um, I was just going to ask if everybody understood everything that was explained in the presentation and nobody has any scenarios, nobody has any questions, everybody understands everything well? Looks like. Oh, you did a great job, Roberto. You're awesome. <laughs> oh, goodness. I've got a question. Go ahead. Yes. So, um, only in the last two minutes or in the open time of the game, uh, when the ball is out of bounds, um, you can call for an unsportsmanlike call. But what if it happens, let's say, in the third quarter? How do you? What is? How do you call that? How do you call that? Uh, the action that happens. On the third quarter, well, before the last two minutes, on the fourth quarter, or before the last two minutes on the overtime, you have to judge what happened. If there is a C1 grabbing the shirt, or if there is a C2 excessive contact, it's an informal life foul. But not always, not all the contact is going to be on formal life foul. So you have to judge the action. You can call on formal life foul, judge, judging the 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 action of the of the defender player. So even if it's in the third quarter of the game. Yes, on the third quarter. That's what I'm saying. If there is a throw in on the third quarter, yeah, and B two. Is defending A2 and B2 commit a foul, make a contact, and you analyze the contact and you see if the not is a personal foul, it's a personal foul. But if in your judgment there is an excessive contact, or he grabs the, the shirt, or he grabs the, the trouser, it's a C1, it's a it's an spermalite foul too. So it's your judgment, it's your criteria, use it. Right, wait, there's another question here. Um, somebody asked if all uh, unsportsmanlike like falls are physical in nature. Um, yes, all unsportsmanlike like falls are physical in nature. Verbal abuse to officials, your own teammates, that's officials, anybody is a technical fault, or you could disqualify them. <laughs> depending on yep. how bad, depending on how bad it is. But on sports late falls, or are they are physically physical contacts? It's Okay, so uh, Manny Ramon is asking what is IOT and IRS. IOT is an individual officiating technique, and IRS is instant replay system. Uh, okay, I, okay, I got it. Thank you very much. Okay. 
Um, Zara Ashby asked, in criteria four, this applies until the offensive player begins his act of shooting. What do you differentiate at this point? Um, that's the rules. Right, that's the first answer. That's clear cut. That's the rule. Our sportsman light rules are pretty black and white. Um, the because you have to allow the player to play defense in terms of defending your basket. But even if the player defending the basket contacts the offensive player hard, it could still be called on. Um, on sportsman like foul or depending on the type of foul if it's you know if they pull them down or they trip them up or you know depends on the situation but the it was previously called the clear path foul in open court it's pretty obvious that you're deliberately trying to stop an advantage of the um offensive team so that's that's why you differentiate between the open court and actually when the person starts the act of shooting. I hope that answers your question. Uh, there is one question, can, I, can an Osporma like foul also be committed by an offensive player while the ball is out of bounds? Well, it's your judgment about the contact who is making. Because if you see only criteria two or uh, excessive contact to be out of the uh, on one screen or, or separate, try to separate the, the by the defender player and it's a hard contact, you can call it. But on C5, you cannot call an formal life foul to offensive players. It's offensive foul or defensive play or, or, or defensive play, uh, foul, but not you cannot call an formal life foul with the ball in the in the hand of the thrower uh, for offensive. If somebody has a question, you can turn on your microphone and, and make the question. Yes, what about yes, um <clears throat> Hi, Michael. Yes, um what about the possession? Who gets possession after the shooting of the free throws? 